21-year-old Marshall Holman, first time in the Firestone, going against the man that won the very first Firestone Tournament of Champions in 1965. Holman shooting first. Four seven on the left lane. Going for the four seven. The spare for 21-year-old Marshall Holman of Medford. And tough as they come. Stuck at the line, but nevertheless in the pocket for a double. They spare up. Marshall Holman shooting in the second. Gets the strike in this match. Live coverage by Eddie Sore Thumb Hardwick. Oh, a 360. Here we <laughs> On the right lane, double up. Billy Hardwick in this final match. Five. Seven. Mm. Marshall Holman shooting in the fifth frame, leaving the four pin. We bowled through, and in the fourth frame, he left a ten, but marked with a spare. For Holman of Medford, Oregon, a spare in the fifth and missed the final game in the Firestone Tournament of Champions. The winner, 25. The loser, 14. A reprieve for Hardwick. He opened in the fourth frame to go nine pins down. Holman had a chance to really put him on the ropes, left a solid ten and then a solid four, so the match is still less than a double apart. Coming up high. Oh, the seven went out at the last moment. Leaving only the 610. Uh, okay. I won't be concerned one way or the other. My concentration will be good. Uh, if I bowl well, fine. If I don't, I still got $14,000 in my pocket. Coming up high on the left lane, leaving the 610, Billy Hardwick, whom you just heard with his philosophy on this final game as the tournament leader. Difference between Holman and Hardwick, the two H's. All right, a spare for Billy Hardwick to eliminate Harahan's 208. A 10 on the right lane. Six pins separating these two professionals. And it's a spare for Marshall Holman of Medford, Oregon, marking in the sixth frame. Now Billy Hardwick shooting in the seventh, the spare up. A four. Hardwick marks with a spare in the seventh frame of this final game in the Tournament of Champions. Making sure that that ball does not slip. Hardwick strike in the eighth frame, giving him 140 through the seventh. Seven pins separating these two in this final game. Important shot for young Marshall Holman. He has the lead and he has the advantage with a strike up. He has a seven pin lead. It can extend it to 17. If he does not strike here, he'll have given a reprieve to one of the great players of the, of the bowling game sitting there on the bench and you just cannot give Hardwick much room. Bucket on the right lane, two, four, five, eight. Who oh, gets it? A 10 pen on the left lane. Marshall kind of getting a little anxious, showing inexperience right now, Chris. Is he shouldn't be. Competition here on the ABC as Marshall Holman marks for the spare. Near the end, Hardwick can take a lead with a strike. So he'll give it his best shot. Almost crossing over. Billy Hardwick covers that three pin and Jack Holt. We salute them. 
Kelly Hardwick leaving the 4-7 on the left lane, shooting in the 10th frame, giving him 178 through the ninth. Hardwick needs a spare to make Marshall Holman mark for the, to be the new Firestone Tournament of Champions champion, the youngest ever, 21 years old. If Hardwick opens, Holman wins sitting down. <laughs> Billy with the spare and a strike will shoot 198, will force Marshall Holman to mark. Count is immaterial at this point, but it's not over yet. So it's a 198 for the first Tournament of Champion winner, Billy Hardwick. <laughs> Leaving the 4-7. He almost threw it away, Chris. He just cranked it too much, cut it short, and almost left the 4 7 10. He still needs this spare. Gets the spare. Marshall Holman, first time ever in this great championship. At this point now, in a field that started with 52 winners, he needs five pins. Mm. A dejected Billy Hardwick, he knows that Holman will get five pins. <laughs> Crossing over and getting nine. And there is a winner of 25,000 with a 203 to 198. Imagine that. The first time starter 203 to the great champion Billy Hardwick's 198.